Hey guys, it's Amy and thank you so much for coming back to my channel and subscribing. I appreciate every single one of you. I have grown immensely in viewers over the last few weeks, so thank you so much. A lot of you have really liked my, my desk tour as well as my planner haul that I posted a few weeks ago. So thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I'm having so much fun doing it. So what starts anybody's really type of pen collection or at, I guess addiction to a pen and having lots of pens? Um, my first office job outside of working for my father, because um, I could get anything I wanted at my dad's work, but when I went to an actual office environment, I started to notice they wouldn't order me the pens that I wanted, and so I started buying my own because I was like, oh, you're going to provide me a bunch of like, not that I don't hate on paper mate, but these are like the ones that they would give me. And I'm like, the, what? No color? I get blue and black and red. Those are the colors that you got. Um, and so I really started buying my own and kind of going to office stores and Target and Fry's and grocery stores and CVS and Walgreens and really looking at everybody's pen collections and these are what started my addiction to them. Um, these were the Bic for her and these were a Bic, they came in a bunch of different colors. These are the most recent version. These come out usually for breast cancer month in October. Um, they usually change the colors of these. But Bic with these kind of felt pens that were really sharp love them i had them like every color but these right here these are the uniball vision needle micro pens and this is a waterproof pen and this is what did it this is a point i'm almost positive this is going to be probably a 0.5 uh, width of a pen and this i wrote with every single day of my life for a position that i worked as an admin for like a year and a half this i never strayed from it they came in blue and black I think they maybe came in other colors over the years, but I think that's what they came in. These, and they don't make these anymore. Anybody can find these, please. They make they make lots of versions of this pen, but not this exact one. So this is called the Uniball Vision Exact, and I loved these. This one is like dead. I don't think it works anymore. But they have this rubber grip right here, and then again, 0.5, I believe. It's micro, so it might be 0.3. But this, and I used to have like... Um, that tape that you could like print on like a handheld device you can like type your name or do something print it out and, like put it up it was like a sticky paper um mine I used to have my initials on these <laughs> because i love them so much i wanted to shake them so this is really what started this pen collection of mine and i keep them for sentimental reasons although they don't work anymore this one does because i've gotten different versions of it but you can't find the exact ones and over the years the companies changed the pens and i'm like man bring the old school ones back i want to do it as promised, I was going to put together a video of my pen collection. When I actually put it together, it didn't seem like a lot, but I think as I go through it, it's probably going to be overwhelming. So, yeah, it's going to we'll just jump right in here. So these pens have been collected forever, probably since high school, um, and well into my 30s. So there's a lot of pens here. Um, I have almost two sets for each set of pen that I have because I take one to work and then I have one for home and sometimes I'll buy three sets just depends on how much I like the pen. So let's start with, let's start at the end here. So I'll kind of hold the pens here and hopefully that will be okay for you guys. I am a huge Sharpie fan. Um, I have actually have two sets of Sharpies here. So I'm a huge Sharpie fan and I love them so much. Um, I have some really, and highlighters are in here too because they just kind of don't go with anything else. Um, so let's go through these. Now these are formula cans for when I was um, transitioning nursing for my son to formula, to milk. <laughs> um, I have just ripped the labels off, so this is what these are. Um, and that's where I keep them in. I'm eventually going to paint them gold and actually put them on my wall at an angle like this so that I can see them and reach them more easily. So this is what these are in. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them um, full to the brim of stuff. So let's jump right in. So these right here are going to be primarily the highlighter, or excuse me, my big fat kind of Sharpies. And so they're these kinds. Um, I like these for when I have to make big signs or when I need to make a huge to-do list. And I like the thickness of these to be able to cross those off. So I have these. I think at any given time, I have anywhere from 10 to 12 of these all over my house. And they're just the regular black. Someone is flushing the toilet. <laughs> 
I have like 10 to 12 black sharpies and I use them all the time at work I use these for my to-do list and I cross things off these are god sent I love these and I used to like these like push ones with the cap here where you just push but they dry out really easily so this is why I only have one but I when every time I go to the office store I usually buy another pack of sharpies just because I love them and then I have highlighters. I used to be a big highlighter person, but then when I started doing lists and just crossing things off, more when I was in college, I guess I had, um, I had more highlighter necessities, but even at work, I don't really use a highlighter, except for when I'm reviewing resumes. Um, I'm a recruiter Hi. Um, for a small company, and so I guess when I do that, so I have a good set of highlighters. Um, I have some generic ones, this is Universal, but Paper Mate, I really like the really thin ones, and then of course the Sharpie flip chart pens are my favorite because they're really thick and they have a pointed um, cap on there. Um, also they have the, this is a Sharpie, the Smear Guard one, so there's that pink one, and then I guess a bunch of other Paper Mates. I have more highlighters, oh I do right here, I have more highlighters, they're kind of meshed all over. Um, I have, so I have the Sharpie Accent Highlighters, which are really cute little caps here. Um, and then I have, apparently I like Sharpie today. Um, these are kind of old school with the grip. Um, these are really old. I think I've had these for a really long time. Um, but I have quite a few, so I have a whole other thing of highlighters, so I'll get to this one in a minute. That's all my highlighters, and that's been one. These don't even fit in here. That's how packed these are. These were actually in the other tin that I just pulled out. So let's rummage through some of these. So these are primarily going to be the Sharpie Fine Point, which to me Fine Point means something different, but these are pretty fine if I don't use them very often. Once you start really getting into these, they immensely start getting down and they'll start, um, they're not really sharp anymore like this one. So I have a bunch of colors in these. I have a silver, pink. Here, I'll start just pulling them out here. I can't even hold these. So here's a batch one. So <laughs> here's some of them that I have here. So these are pretty much, and these aren't even a full set. I probably have some kind of mixed all up through, throughout my house. These are all of these fine point Sharpie markers that I have. They just came out with like a Sharpie Extreme. That's a fine point. And it writes really, it's fine point and it's at work. I don't have a pair here. Um, but they write extremely thick and dry really fast, so I really like them, so I've been using those a lot. What I used to really enjoy are these, and I have the most collection of these because I used to use these at work. Um, again, I was a recruiter, I've been a recruitment coordinator, I've been an HR coordinator, HR generalist, I've done all kinds of stuff within the HR realm. So I have used these Sharpie um, ultra fine points and these are my favorite to write on just white lined paper if you have a bunch of tasks that you need to do these are your go-to that you want to focus on and get and they come in so many different colors in fact I'm not even going to take them all out because I have so many of them you can see them they're all these color caps these I'm going to talk about in a second but that's pretty much all the colors that I have with those but, but if you take this and this is the end and you go to close it with this you've pretty much just ruined your entire sharpie you might as well just throw it in the trash because then it gets bent and then frayed and it doesn't work anymore um same thing if you're hurrying close it and you go you catch it like that breaks it too um so yeah so these are my favorite i haven't pulled these out in a long time i should transition these into my normal everyday um i used to do my checkbook with these too but they bleed um through the paper the checkbook paper so here's all of these guys all these shirts. Um, so these have come out in different versions of them. The first version of them really came out like this. And this is kind of how they started. These are the Sharpie pens. Um, so these were kind of the first version of these. And then they kind of um, got into a better mode of them. But these are the Sharpie pens. They have a grip right here. And again, they come in. This is black, red, and blue. Um, again, I don't like these as much. I'd rather use these versus these just because these tend to have a really thicker color to it when you write. These don't write as dark per the colors that they are. Um, so again, these were the first version of them. And please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty positive this is how they first came out. Um, and then they evolved into these. So these are the Sharpie pens and these come in all different colors. I have every color that they've probably ever made. My favorite was the pink. 
obviously. The pink, they have teal, they have blue, red, I think they have a purple in here, but blue, green, black, all the normal colors. And again, if you've never seen these type, they look like this. And again, they just have a really, really fine point. I don't know if this is 0.3 or 0.7 um, of a width of the pen, but I'm, it's pretty small. I'm going to say it's 0.7. I don't think it's 0.3. Um, but these are what these Sharpie pens are. So that is all of my Sharpies. But let's finish up the highlighter piece. So here's more highlighters that I have. Um, and let's go through some of them. So Post-it makes a pen highlighter um, like pull tabs so they come out and they have these little pull tabs on it. I use these really small tabs they're smaller than regular those flag post-it notes um, but I use these because they tend to uh, they match the width of your checkbook so I use these but this is a highlighter and then there's they make them with a pen version as well so here's the pen and then at the other end is the highlighter this one doesn't have the flags it broke off. You can still buy these. They're called a flag pen. You can still buy these at any of your office stores. But I have a couple of versions of that. Oh, okay. This is old school. Hold on. You got to reverse. So these post-it flags were, this is like a second generation or third generation of these. But they originally, so this would have been the first version of them. So the pen highlighter combo with the flags attached to the cap. And then the second version, I believe, are this. So this is really cool. It you spin it. Let me see if I can spin it correctly. Mine are all empty. But it comes like this. It doesn't have the highlighter piece, but it has like the black. It has a grip on it as well. But then if you turn this, and mine are empty, of course, if you turn it, there's those post-it flags that can come out. So this can go in like a backpack or office bag. Okay, so here's that post-it pen that I was just showing you that you turn the cap and they have post-it notes in them. So voila! So again, this one, I ran out of the pink one, obviously. Um, but there's those post-it flags evolved into these. And the flags are all different. This one has little polka dots on it. Um, so this one's pretty neat. Oh, here's another pen highlighter combo by, oh, this is by Bic Duo. And these are really old school. I don't think you can find these anywhere else. Um, so this is a really thick pen. You pull it open. It has a ballpoint pen on here, right? But then if you turn it, it has a highlighter. So it's a pen highlighter combo. So here are the uh, Pilot Friction Light Pens. So I have a lot of versions of these, um, but these are the ones that you highlight and you can erase. So they have a highlighter and then it has, you rub this little rubber piece on there and it will erase the highlighter. So in my mind, I'm like, why would I highlight something and then erase it? That just never made sense, but I thought the idea was cool to me. So these come in a bunch of different colors, blue, pink, green, orange. They come in a bunch of different colors, yellow. Um, so these, and they're pretty cool looking. They're like all, like, hi, 2002 is calling for your back tattoo. They're pretty neat, but these are really cool. I don't really know how I would use these, I guess. Leave me in the comments, I guess, about the Pit Pilot Friction Pens how you guys would use those. You just have these accent ones, which are pretty common. Majority of people have these in their office. Um, just the basic common ones. And then I have, <laughs> I have a scented marker in here, which these belong to my daughter's stuff. And then I have this really Mondo Bic Brightliner Grip Extra Large, but it's still the same size of a regular highlighter, <laughs> but the shell of it is pretty big. These are really cool, and I use these a lot when I was in college long time ago so I use these a lot in college and these were the sharpie gel highlighters so if you are familiar with those give it a thumbs up because these were really cool and they were only on the market for a little bit but you open them and this the highlighter part was a gel so I don't know if you guys can see that so before we get into more of my collection I want to show you guys my everyday pens that I use because I have these sit on my desk so if you've seen my desk tour you've seen my gold um Kind of crate thing I keep these in but I want to show you guys my everyday pens because I think they're pretty important let's try these sharpie gel highlighters oh my god they still work they remind me of the consistency of oh man that orange one turned a different color now crazy they remind me of the consistency of chalk um and I'll try to zoom in here so you guys can see that but they are, they feel like, um, anyways, I'm harping on the Sharpie too much, but they're really cool. They look like chalk to me when you draw them. So again, those are really neat. So let's see, I just grabbed 
a notebook. Also, I have a ton of notebooks, so if anybody's interesting, interesting, are you interesting? I think I'm pretty interesting. I have a ton of notebooks. If you guys want to see my notebook collection, I'm kind of addicted to paper. I am addicted. So if you guys want to see that as well, click a thumbs up. I'll be more than happy to put that together. I should have brought a pad of paper in here. I wonder if these still work. Um, but these were really neat. So they're a gel and they don't mark on your skin at all. They just mark on the paper. But these are really cool. And then they turn. You can turn this and it sharpens and kind of goes up. But these are really neat. Good job, Sharpie. I really enjoyed these. So here are my everyday pens. These are what I use every single day. They're always on my desk. Um, I never really go into my collection to get something unless I need something or I need to show somebody something or I need to write. I have like every pen has a use for something. So if I need something different than these, um, then I'll reach for these. Um, so these are my everyday pens. And pencil. I write in my checkbook. When you're balancing and subtracting and adding in your checkbook, I write in pencil. So these are a couple, these are this is the one that I use all the time. So this is by Pentel. It's a twist eraser, twist erase GT. It has my daughter's hair in it. <laughs> um, so the eraser does, I'll kind of go like this so you guys can see. So the eraser goes up and down. And it's a click, and this is a 0.5. So I again I only write with 0.3, 0.5, or 0.7. Just I prefer that. I don't really write with like a one point or a two point um, width of a pen. I just don't think it doesn't do it for me. So I only use 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7. So when you're looking at pens and pencils, which ones do you guys like? Um, I'm a very, very, very ultra fine point, which is 0 0.3. Um, so this is the pencil that I use. These come in a bunch of different colors. There's probably some right here in my pencils, but these come in a bunch of different colors. And I also just picked these up from Target. These are all x ray Stot Stotler. So if you are a planner girl and you use the Stotler pens to write in your planner, they make pencils too, which are really cool. Um, they have like a graphite end here, and then the but they don't write. This is the thing. They don't. They write really lightly. Like if I can show you, like they write really light and that to me is just it really does it for me but i like the look of these and they're really heavy oh let me can we just have a silence for the big triumph funds oh, big big if you want to ever sponsor me i would love you so much these are by far my favorite pen and i lose them all the time and that's why i keep buying more these are the Bic Triumph pens. They're micro fine point. They're 0.5 and they're amazing. If I cannot find, and I'll find you another, tell you another version that I'm loving right now, but if I cannot find the other pen I'm going to show you in a second, I go right to these. These Bic Triumph pens are amazing. I love these pens. And I think I only have one in here. I use them that much that either they dry out or I use it too much and I can't find a replacement I don't want lazy, I just don't want to go buy the replacement ink for it, so I'll just throw it away. But these are when I go to the store. If they're on sale, I will buy them. And I'll buy like three or four packs of them. <laughs> if I can't find that big one. So this is Uniball Vision. So if you remember, Uniball Vision, Uniball Version, Vision. So these are red, black, and blue. And these are the Uniball, they say Japan on them. I don't think I got them from Japan. Uniball Vision RT. So these are a 0.7, so they're not as fine point, but they have a rubber grip here. And they're really cool. If you look at these guys up close, go to the store and look at them. They're really cool. They look really technology driven. They're really neat. Um, but these are my favorite. And I use these for my checkbook. I make to-do lists. I make all kinds of stuff with these. So these are my favorite. Pilot Friction Pens, those highlighters I showed you, they make pen versions too. Uniball Vision Elite. Hey, look at that. More Uniball Visions. So Uniball Visions are like my jam. I like them a lot. So these are the breast cancer ones that came out last October. Um, and they have, I went to the store the other day and at Walmart they have like teal ones of these, different designs on them, which are really cool. This is the same version of this Big Triumph pen, but they have them in, this is a 
thick 537R, but it's 0.7, so it's not as thin as I would like it, but I still use that. I have these Pentel needle tip pens I started using at my first office job as well. They come in different colors, but you can't find them like this anymore. They come in different versions of it. Um, they kind of come in, and this is liquid gel ink, so it writes really smooth. These are 0.5 millimeter ball, and I really like these, but these come, I can't find any more of these. I used to have a ton of them, and I must have used them all, but you can't find these in the store anymore either. Um, this is Jetstream, which is a not very common pen, but these are pretty nice, these little click pens. My husband likes writing with these. Um, whenever I give him those, he likes writing with them. And then I like to use this Papermate Inkjoy stylus, so if I am working on my iPad or I'm typing a bunch of information, I usually like to use this because it has an end over here that you can use on your iPad or your iPhone device, um, and then it's a pen as well. I don't like the Papermate pens, but this is really cool and it's triangle so it's easier to write with. I have a zebra stylus pen in here too. These are the Uniball Signo. They come in blue and black, and they're Ultra Micro 207, so these are probably, mm, I'd say it's probably 0.5. Um, it's not a 0.3 for sure, um, but they come in blue and black. So that's my every single day pens that I use. So there's quite a bit of them. All right, are you guys still with me? Are you bored? Do you think this is really boring? I think it's neat, but it's gonna be a really long video, so thanks for hanging in. So here it is, we're on can four. Um, these are gonna be a mixture of a couple things, so let's go right into these. So these are gonna be, I'm not gonna pull them all out, but these are like Paper Mate, the 1.0 millimeter balls. Um, these are these everyday pens. These are really good if you're taking a ton of notes because they write really, really well. So I have these in all different colors. Um, I have them in red. I have them in blue. Um, I have them in all different colors. I have all of those. And if you were really awesome and went to Walmart about five years ago, they came in different colors. They came in like red, blue, green. Um, They're black with this cap. Really great. And purple. And then let's keep going through here. Um, I think my husband got me these for Christmas one year. This is 1.6, so this is super big. I'll write on, oh, it doesn't dry. Oh, it started to write. So these are really, really thick, and you can see just right away how much thicker they are from the pencils to this pen. Really thick. I don't, it's not my jam. And my Paper Mate Flex Grip Elite. Again, these are breast cancer pens. Paper Mate, these are the Eco Pens. Um, these are 1.0 milliliters, like mil I don't even know if that's right, milliliters, balls, I don't know. Uh, but again, these are 1.0, I don't write with them very well, but they're eco, so they're kind of this weird plastic material. These Velocity Gels, these are other ones that you can get at your office, you usually can order these for you, the big Velocity Gels. They're gel, they don't, they skip when you write, so they don't write very well. Oh, and I have some more of these big Velocity Pens, um, I just showed you guys this one, I believe. They also come like this any kind of a colored cap. These are my love for felt. I almost just threw them at you. What? These are my Bic. Um, I think these are by Bic. Yep, I can see a little guy on them. These are by Bic, and they are all, or Bic and Paper Mate. So these are my Bic and Paper Mate felt. Anything felt is in here. Um, and so I really like these. So let's jump through these guys. The Right Dudes, which that, that company's really cool too. They have some really nice pen sets. But here are those guys. And these write really neat. They're um, markers. They're metallic markers. So I'll write with one just so you guys can see. They're metallic markers. They have like this really cool metallic-y kind of finish to them. Really nice. So I like these. Can you shimmer? Market Ultra Fine Point Permanent Markers. So these come in different versions. Um, so these are the Bic felt tips. These have a really cool grip on the inside. Um, and so I really like these. I used to write with these quite a bit, but they come like this. These are the Paper Mate felt pens, and they come in different versions, as you can see here. Um, they come in different versions. They're, these are the flares, versus they look like this. They actually look like this separately. Um, they have different, so again, do companies put together different versions of pens throughout the years to kind of make them cool and unique and change what they look like. So these are just different versions of them. These are those. These are Office Max, and these are just little felt pens. Just little felt. Again, they're metallic like this is. So they're not as thick. Um, right here, they're not as thick pointed. You can five. So here's these. And these, I'm not going to pull them all out, but these are just two different versions of pens. These are going to be your 
and these are all Bic. So these are the Bic Crystals, and then these are the Bic Grip Medium. So I have different colors and different iterations of these pens. Um, they come in all different colors. Um, the crystal ones come in like a, like a see-through clear, and then they also come in like colored clear. Um, and then again, I just have different versions of these pens. I have a glitter version, all different kinds, but these are the Bic all my big pens and I love them. These are probably my favorite when I need to write tons of notes or just randomly grab a pen because I can know they're reliable and I can just write and they won't dry out. Um, so I have a ton of them. I even have these crazy, crazy lime green ones. Ooh, that looks cool on camera. Um, but yeah, I have all different kinds of versions of these. Ooh, this one's open. Let's see. Yep. Wrote right away. See? I love these big pens. They're my favorite. See, this is what happens when you have so many pens, you lose... <laughs> They all get mixed up. So here's more of those Pilot Friction pens in different colors. I just showed these to you guys. So these are the actual pens, not the highlighters. So you can, and I'll do a little demo. So you can write, and I'll just write my name. And then, so here's my name. And then you can come through here and take the friction part. And you can erase it. You guys can see that. You can erase it. Pretty neat, right? So these are gonna be more scrapbooking pens, and these are like when the gel pens were really big for scrapbookers. Um, these are kind of all different versions of gel pen. And then mixed in here, it looks like I have a little set of these Papermate Inkjoy pens because they're the gel ink. Um, so I have some versions of those in here as well. To make little baby versions of these, thumbs up if you remember those. Um, I might have some in here, but I used to have little baby versions of these Pilot G2 pens that I used to wear around my lanyard for work. Um, if I was doing like I9s or something like that, um, just to put those in there. You'd have to do them in black, couldn't do them in crazy colors. So this is eight, can eight. These are the Toll pens, T-U-L. Um, so these are def different versions of these pens. These were really big, probably five years ago. Um, and you can still buy them, they come in different um, iterations of it. Oh my gosh, look at this one is still, I don't even think I've ever used this one. Look, it still has this skew on it and it still has a little plastic thing that goes over. <laughs> As you can tell, I have a lot of pens, so a lot of times, it, oh, it even has a little plastic thing on the bottom. So I've never written with this pen ever. I really liked these pens. These are the Toll pens. They have like kind of a rubberized grip to them. But after a few years, they stick to freaking everything and they're gross. Like they feel nasty. They're really like everything sticks to them like dirt, sand, hair, other colors of pens stick to here. So it's really dirty looking up close. But these are really cool. Um, I liked them when they first came out. But again, if you have them in like a backpack or um, at the bottom of your drawer in your office, they just stick to everything and it's gross. So I don't like writing with them. Again, more of those Toll pens. These one actually don't have. So Toll started to get really smart. I think they realized that the grip on them got really gross and nasty. So they started creating these Toll. Again, this is a breast cancer pen. I buy a lot of pens in October. Um, so this is a Toll pen. It's really sleek. It's shiny. And it doesn't have that little plastic cover on it. But again, these are more of a clicky pen. Click, 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 click. Oh man. Look at this one. It even has my name on it. So you can tell this used to be an office one. So this is a blue one. I wonder if this still writes. Yep, never fails. So this is, I don't even know what this is. Can anybody, it's .5 Rollerball. I'm pretty sure it's a Pilot Pen, like an old school Pilot Pen. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, oh, I know what this is. There used to be, if you've worked in an office environment, there used to be a company called Corporate Express and they used to provide their own brand as pens. So Corporate Express, oh man, memories, memories of my first office job are coming back. But these are my Corporate Office Express pens that I used to use, so I had a whole bunch of these. So these are all my pencils that I've collected over the years. Um, so we have some of these um, Tigondroga black. I have some kind of character pencils. I really like pencils that have like little funny shapes on them. My kids really like them. Um, these come with planner sets from like Barnes and Noble. Um, I have some of these big pencil pens. I have ones with little, I don't know, frogs all over them. Um, I have, again, more some ones that like generic ones that come with planners and stuff. Um, oh man, these are cool. These are little click pens. So the top actually, the eraser clicks. 
Um, and so it's a little giraffe. I got these at Target. Um, wow, years ago. I'm surprised I remember that. Um, just a ton of different stuff in here. I have these staples. I don't really, there's not staples near me, so these are really rare to get these, but staples, postscript pencils. Um, more of these um, Pentel Twist erase GT. So this should actually go in my everyday pens because I use that every day. And then I also have this one from college I just found on the ground. This is a Paper Mate Infinite Lead 0.7. And these are really cool. I liked the eraser. Um, was really thick. And the lead on it. Ooh, these were pretty cool. These are by the right dudes too, I think. Yep, the right dudes. And these, I think the cap comes off. There's an eraser here. Yep. So there's an eraser and a little silver cap. And then the array. The thing with this though is that you can hear. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> the inside, whenever I'd write, would click and it would bug me, so I stopped writing with these. But again, these are pretty cool. They're pretty thick. They're point seven. Oh man, if you remember these, these were the Papermate Sharp Writer point twos. And regardless of how far you push this guy out, the lead out, the minute you start writing, it'd scoot back in. <laughs> So you'd always have to be writing with these. Um, but these are little click things. They have a little click here. And they have a eraser here. Um, but these are pretty old school. Um, I remember like my mom and dad writing with these when we were little. Um, but it doesn't matter how far you push that light out. The minute you start writing, it scoot back up. All right, so let's get into the last bucket here. And these are, oh man, these are all of my Pilot pens. Um, Pilot holds a dear, dear part of my heart. I love anything Pilot makes. Very rarely will I not like something that they put out, and I'm always on the lookout for something new that they're putting out into the market as far as office pens and pencils go. So this I'm going to dive really deep into because these are my favorite. Um, and more for me, I just want to document all the stuff that I have from them. Um, but I have quite a bit. So Unibom Pilot are my favorite pens ever. So this is different, like I said, different versions of these pens so I talked about earlier with the Uniball Vision, the old school version. These are kind of the updated versions now. Um, I haven't been to an office supply store in a while, so I don't know what these look like now, but I'm pretty positive with school coming up in August. Oh man, I'm so excited. Like four weeks out until pen school supplies are prevalent in Target and Walgreens. Oh man. I budget, so I'll talk about my Dave Ramsey stuff in another video, but I specifically every year will budget for office supplies to replenish, <laughs> although I have, I have enough pens to probably for an entire elementary school, um, but I'm really crazy about it. Um, so these are the Uniball Vision Micro Pens. They are different colors, and I love the look of them. They're just really sleek and classy looking. They really come in different colors, and they're waterproof. I like it when I have to write checks out of my checkbook. These are the pens that I write them with. Um, they have um, the colors on the tip, and then you open them, and you can definitely tell as you're writing with them what colors they are. So I talked a lot about these pens just a minute ago with my everyday use pens. These are the Uniball Vision Elites. And these are the, there's a couple different versions in here. So you showed, I just showed you guys this version in my everyday use. Um, so these are the Uniball Vision Elites. I have a couple different versions of this kind, but these are different versions over the years. So these, again, have this really cool grip. These are, let's see, I don't know what version. These are probably 0.5. Um, they come in different versions. And see, my initials are on this one too. <laughs> so you can tell I took those to work. Um, so no one take them from my desk. I probably have... 30 of these type of pens in all different colors. These are the Uniball, or excuse me, the Pilot Precise V5 pens. So they're a 0.5, but look at this one says payroll on it. <laughs> so you can tell I use this one for payroll when I worked in HR. Um, so, ooh, this one's old. It's turning yellow too. So this is old. This is probably from 2004. I guarantee you this pen's from 2004, 2005. Because it says payroll, and the only job I ever did payroll was when I worked at a job in 2004. Um, so these are amazing, but these are the Pilot um, Precise V5 Rolling Ball Pens, and they're amazing. I love these pens. So many! I keep thinking I have them all and I don't. So here's all of them that I have currently, and I, get, I have probably two sets of these at my office, my current job. I have two sets of the colors in black and blue. These are my favorite. I can just grab them, run into a meeting, can do my checkbook with these, write a check, I can write notes, to-do list, 
Um, I can sign documents with these. These are really nice. But I have them in all different colors. Mostly of the black ones. But these are those pens. And they're my favorite. That's it. And then these are a Pilot Precise Grip Extra Fine. So these are pretty neat. I remember I was with my mom when I bought these. And I remember I was like, ah, I think I have some of these. My mom was like, oh, just get them. And I'm like, okay. Um, but these are really cool. They have like a really rubbery grip. And they write really well. The thing about Pilot and Uniball is they really have a really slick point. Like you can write really hard with these type of pens with the Pilot and the Uniball ones. And that needle will never fail you. I can be mad writing something. I can be, you know, have a lot of pressure, be really thinking about what I'm writing, and that will never fail me. The point, the needle of this will always be strong. Um, regardless, I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard right now, and it writes, and it. Did, and the thing is, you can put as much more pressure on it or light pressure, it still writes the same. You could put really light pressure and then go really dark. It looks the same. It's amazing these are the uniball vision elite again more versions of these pens um these again have that rubberized grip i think i already showed these actually so these might be in a wrong oh the problem with these ones though there's a problem with these ones whenever you take the cap off usually you'll get the ink out <laughs> as well so uniball you need to fix that because and again i don't know i might have to go see if there's a new version of these but the ink comes out of it of the base so you get the whole you get all three pieces come out of this so that's really and I always am constantly having to like roll it back in to get it to stay and even if you put the cap on it it somehow breaks and these break I'm looking at it these are broken too so you can tell I've done it a couple times or I'm like forget these are ones that I just purchased within the last two weeks I haven't categorized them and put them away in my buckets yet but I wanted to show you guys I just got these the other day and these are by Bic they're called Bic Atlantis and they're fine point they come in red black and blue so I just got these I just bought more of these <laughs> these are my Bic Triumph pens that I was talking about I had, I think these are the thicker version though. Yeah, these are the thicker version. This is 0.7. Um, but again, that's what these are as well. I just bought some. So I did. So I bought two of these and two of these. So I just bought Big Triumph. And I think I didn't realize what the packaging was because these are the thicker ones. I don't write with them as much. Um, so those are the thicker ones. And then I have the Uniball Vision Needles Waterproof and Fade Proof. So these are those. So I just bought more of these. And I know I have a ton of them, but I bought more. Don't judge me. So that is my pen collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see my notebook collection, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And welcome to my crazy world of pens and paper products and planner supplies and makeup and hair tutorials. I appreciate it so much. So thank you so much for being a part of the journey. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You could open these and you catch this or you close it on the wrong end and being interrupted. Yes, baby. Okay, go patty. Can you close the door all the way, please? Thank you. Love you. Being interrupted by my favorite. Oh, jeez. My camera keeps stopping. Ooh, ooh. If my camera stops one more time, I'm going to lose it. Hi, I forgot how to record on my camera. And my recording stopped right as I was transitioning. Anywho, we'll have to jump right in. <sighs> my camera keeps stopping. Um, oh, and look, there's another one talking. Hey, guys. <laughs> and <laughs> more black Sharpies. <laughs> look, another black one. Another black Sharpie. Hey guys. <laughs> I'm gonna find them everywhere. <laughs> That's funny. Army roll.